Benito's have pretty good walkways up to the front, not too cluttered. It's got a nice windlass with remote, nice anchor with swivel, nice big cleats. Not real crazy about this wood tow rail. It's got some bad spots in it and it's got such a thick varnish over I don't know. Really don't want to strip it all down. And a lot of the sailboats I guess do not have. This is something I guess they added. Uh, you can plug in up here on the bow with your electric or back on the stern. So depending on if you're sterned in your dock or bowed in, you got quick access to the electric. You don't have to string a line all the way across your boat or down the dock. Quite a bit of deck space up here. We're able to set a couple chairs up here and sit out on the front at the beach and stuff. This boat's got solid rigging on it. It's got two back stays that go all the way to the top of the mast. Roller furling sail in the front. It's got a furling main. Built a rack for the uh, dive tanks on each side see some of the wood tow rail is cracked and the wood is weathering all this canvas I want to replace this winter the ising glass is kind of getting this colored you can't hardly see through it one thing I do like about the wood on the boat is all the settees all have the teak wood and the previous owner paid somebody to put this grit or something in there no slip grip and the varnish on real thick the helm the wheel is really big it's nice if you're sitting over the side you're sitting on the side lounging you're driving but it's really in the way trying to get around it especially if you're at the beach swimming and you're back and forth to the swim platform it's got a nice compass it's got an older GPS, Raymarine E80. The GPS works, the radar does not work. I've got to figure out what's going on with that. It'll come on for just a little bit and then it says lost data. I think it stops rotating. Usually the dash should sit down here, down low. Somebody's raised it. This is supposed to just have a clear lid over everything, but somebody's raised it. And when they did, they re extended all the wires and it's made a mess out of the wiring it is an absolute mess I'm gonna be going through that this winter and just rewiring everything I'm gonna be making a new dash and I'll try to get video and all that put the autopilot in they had to raise this GPS because of the sprocket or if this was done at the factory so somebody has rigged this they've made a thing to go across here and they've raised all this up with plexiglass and they've had it cut to fit all the gauges so power meter does not work the fuel tank level does not work i replaced I replaced the, the uh, shower and the knob for the transom shower so we got a new shower handle which is nice because you have hot and cold water back here <clears throat> and you can control it here this boat does have a nice big swim ladder this ladder is nice heavy duty I've climbed up it with scuba gear on and it's pretty sturdy there's a storage thing here which I don't know what you would store in there because it always stays wet and I can't find a the size hole that is, I can't find a stopper to keep the water out. And not only that, when it rains, the water comes in it anyway. So it doesn't have, it's not sealed real good anyway. So I really don't know what you'd keep in there, but it's a nice storage locker if you could keep it, keep the water out. Here's the electrical ports I was talking about on the transom. These are kind of nice. You can sit up here while you're sailing, or you can use it for a table, or you can just flip it up out of your way. The motor hoist is also really nice. We use that all summer for pulling the motor up off the raft. A rope locker down, down here. Keep all my extra lines. Fenders. We actually kept our 
cruising spinnaker down there when we weren't using it. On this side you got a two propane tanks and then I keep extra propane for the grill in here. The relay has been disconnected. The propane relay, I've got to hook that back up. When I turn it on, it gets really, really hot. And it doesn't flip the relay. The solenoid doesn't work. All it does is get so hot you can't even hardly touch it. Somebody tried putting a rag around it and some electrical tape in case it got hot. It didn't, I don't know. They just had it wrapped up with a rag. And here's where all the storage is. Fenders and just about anything you could think of down there. I think some people even actually put their bicycles down there. There's also two, there's a two big 4D batteries. Both are brand new. And then there's two more 4D batteries, one in front of the motor and one back behind it. So I think there's four total. Actually one of the four might be like a, uh, like a starter battery. We have the tables here that come up on each, on each side, which is really nice. There's more storage over here. Keep all my, keep all my tools. All my stainless hardware, my drill, the knee pad, which is nice when you're working. I have my stern anchor. Um, these are my hoops for my dive tanks. All my electric, uh, extra electric cords are in here. So we've got two winch drums back here. These are 54s. These are for the front Genoa. And then we have one on each side up here, which is 244s. Straight down below here is the galley, which is nice. If uh, you're cooking and stuff, you can open this and let some smoke out. This is a hatch right above the quarter berth. I guess this boat came with this hard top, which has nice, nice headroom. A lot of them are real low. You have to duck to get under them. This thing I can stand straight up and down. It's nice and roomy. This boat has these heavy plexiglass doors. We put these lighter weight wood doors in, which are a lot easier to get in and out. They also have like plexiglass in the openings. And you can take the plexiglass out and you have screen. And what also is neat is there's another screen that unrolls here and it zips up each side. So you literally just <clears throat> zip in a screen and that way you can just leave all this open and get a nice breeze through here. The uh, hatches also have a like a screen shade, shade option. And then if you go the other way it also has a shade to not let any light in. We put new uh, port lights in got a couple more to install. The other ones were all crazed and you can hardly see out of them. <clears throat> like the one here in the head. They just get to the point where they just can't hardly see out of them. And then I think this also has a shade. We also sewed up some new curtains. So those just hook up like that. You want to give us a tour? <laughs> can. Um, there's the galley. This is where I cook. I have my three burner propane stove. And my oven. Two sinks. Makes washing dishes easy. I have my freezer here. My fridge here. One thing we did with the freezer was we had ice build up really bad. And we think it was coming from the the uh, hydraulic hinge that holds it open. It was kind of pushing up on it and letting air get in. So I think just because it was getting air through the lid, so we literally just removed it all together. But it just seems like it was pushing up on this corner. And storage. More 
more storage. Room storage. We have a microwave. We have the salon and the table open so that you can seat more people. We have a lounge right here and a TV. This is set up a little bit different than a lot of the other sailboats. I think this is something kind of new that they're going to. A lot of them have a whole separate area for the nav station. And they kind of incorporated the nav station in with the settee. So you can still sit on the settee and access the, all the stuff for the nav station. I think it just opens up more area and gives you more seating. So the boat is nice and big down here. It's not as big as a hunter as far as the beam goes. but. You sacrifice that for performance, performance I guess. Pull in berth. <laughs> and our pull in berth here. Storage on each side and drawers underneath. They're very heavy. Yeah. The pull in berth is pretty big and it nice thing about it is it gives you privacy if you have guests on board they can close the door and they have privacy up here the thing the reason we don't use it for our quarters is because it's just uh, the bed in the back is just so much bigger so you get more room when you sleep this is good if you're just spending a night or a couple nights on the boat but when we live on it like we are it's uh, just a little more room back in the back we have our TV and a VCR here VCR DVD player <laughs> Our head. So there's two heads. It's got the forward head and the aft head. Has the shower where you hook it up and you take a shower in here. Once again, I think you have the screens and mm -hmm. the privacy. So if you want privacy in the shower, just close it off. There's a nice big closet back behind here. <clears throat> Lots of storage. Keep extra life jackets and. So this boat has a, I think it's a 2,500 water. I think it's, a, well it says Link 2000, but I think it's 2,500 watt inverter, which works great, but it has an error code of error 12, bank number two not connected, and it is connected, we've checked it out. So not sure what's going on with the inverter on this boat. It's uh, not your typical 40 horse engine for this size boat. They actually, it's got the upgraded, 56 horse Yanmar. Um, there's access to this motor on four sides. You can literally you undo the panel right here in the galley. You can get it to it. <clears throat> and you can see you can just change, you can get right to changing the oil filter right there. There's another access right here in the quarter berth. So more engine access. This is nice to get in here to tighten the belt when you put a new belt on. And then actually another access right here, right behind the bed. There's a fan back here in the corner. I'm not sure you can see it, but there's fans everywhere on this boat and they're hardwired in. So we've got TV and DVD player back here as well. We found it easier to put it here and land this way and laying back here and trying to get up at the, where they have it wired to go. They have it wired to go up here. And there's a port light and a hatch back here. There's also one right here. So this is our first sailboat. And so far, this is the first year we've sailed and we love sailing. And I probably won't go back to a powerboat for quite a while, maybe until I get to the point where I can't operate a sailboat anymore. So, we like it. So that's kind of our boat tour.